this is Mohita. Welcome back to my channel Curls Books and Bites. Today I'm going to review a wonderful, hilarious book called Rachel's Holiday by Marianne Keys. I have already discussed this book at least once on my channel, but I think it deserves so much more attention, especially because I'm not seeing this book so much here on BookTube. Rachel's Holiday follows the story of Rachel Walsh, who is originally from Ireland. She is somewhere in her late 20s, I think, uh, basically young enough to make mistakes and adult enough to face the consequences. She lives in New York with her best friend. She is a party animal. She drinks more than she can handle and she also uses drugs for recreational purposes. One fine day she ODs and her roommate finds her unconscious on her bed. Her family flies down to New York from Ireland. Her boyfriend breaks up with her and from there on Rachel's life changes either for the better or for the worse. Rachel Walsh is a deeply flawed character. She is definitely not likable. However, the entire book is a first-person narrative by Rachel which goes to show that she doesn't find herself likable anyway. Rachel is pressurized by her parents to go into this rehabilitation center back in Ireland which she finds is ridiculous and completely unnecessary because her drug-taking habits are not anywhere near addiction, she just uses them for recreation. However, ultimately she gives in to the pressure thinking that she might end up meeting celebrities at the rehabilitation center and she might actually discover some scandalous news about them. She also thinks that the rehabilitation center might be something like a health farm where she'd get regular massages and mud baths and saunas. However, once she enrolls in the institute, reality hits her and from there on the book kind of takes a somber turn. But by no means does does it lose its tone of sarcasm and dark humor. So each chapter in this book alternates between the present and the past and the story comes together rather well. Marianne Keyes' writing must take a bow because she has done such a brilliant job. It is full of humor and sardonic observations and it's a great example of how dark humor should be done. It also has its share of self-derogatory humor which kind of makes Rachel pathetic but not in a way that you'd cringe or you'd want to keep the book away. Rather, you really empathize with her and you can relate to Rachel's problems. The comic timing of the book is bang on and so are the characters. Since nearly half of the book is based in Dublin Island, uh, the European and the Scottish accent really gives an edge to the humor and they've spelled words like idiot as egit so it goes like double e-j-i-t and just the general Irish nuances add so much zing to the entire plot. I really wish to get my hands on the audiobook of this one because I bet it'd be fun to listen to the Irish narration of the book. Apart from being a fun book to read, this book also deals with a very important topic and that is the struggles that drug addicts go through. A very common and yet not so explored topic that goes hand in hand with drug addiction is denial. It also looks into the dangerous world of drug addiction and how important it is to keep the wrong company at bay. It reiterates the true scope and harm of drug abuse and the attraction towards the so-called happening party life. There's also quite a bit of romance in this book which is very, very well done and I really like Luke's character. While Rachel is reckless and uncomfortable in her own skin and trying to be someone she's not, Luke is really grounded and cool with whatever that he is. I'm so happy that I came across this book because it touches upon the topics that we choose to turn a blind eye to. It talks about anxiety, depression, low self-esteem and plus all this as well as the naked truth of the struggles of a drug addict are presented in such a quirky manner. I give this book 4.5 stars because I do not think it deserves any lesser than that. And with that, I wrap my book review for Rachel's Holiday by Marianne Keys. Now you go follow me on Instagram for some bookish images. Let me know which books you want me to read and review here on my channel. Also, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and comment on my video. And do not forget to subscribe. Bye!